Hi, I'm Dave, the RPA guy, and welcome to another episode of Let's Build. In this part five of our Monitor of Value series for Let's Build, we'll be finally moving into Process Studio. We've gotten our object ready, or at least we've gotten the first steps ready for it, and we're gonna start calling some actions from that object from within our process. Now the other thing that will happen in this video is we'll finally also go ahead and fix that document loaded that I have been talking about for the past two videos. We have made our first iteration of the object for Facebook, but uh, I realized something. I went back and watched the video of what I've made so far and I realized that my head is kind of in the way. So <laughs> we're gonna move things what we'll do now is we're going to create a process because we have now made the uh, the interface to the application. Now we'll move to making the process which will hold the business logic. Monitor value on a web page. Okay. Uh, given a URL and a search term, monitor the term, and send an email to the user when it changes. Okay, that's our goal. We're gonna make that right now. Okay, what's the first thing we're gonna do? Well, we can go ahead and use the object we've created to get that value. So we know that we'll need the Facebook object. Uh, we'll have to launch Internet Explorer first. So we'll do launch IE, or no, we'll say launch Facebook. Because that's kind of what we're doing, right? Launch Facebook, we don't get any outputs. Uh, then we will navigate to the about page no outputs or inputs. Probably want to change the name of that. Navigate, navigate to about. And then uh, we're gonna get mission value, which should have an output here. All right, let's just uh, test this. Connect, well, let's link these in here. And now I rename this get mission value. Mission value. Are you ready? Let's move the window a little bit so we can see while we're running it. It launched. It's navigating. It's getting the value. Oh, we should have it close Internet Explorer afterward, right? We'll have to think about that later. Okay. Oh, we didn't get the value. What's going on? Oh, we got an error. Failed. Get mission value on page. Get mission value. No elements match those supplied query terms. Okay, well that's quite all right. Let's look at the logs. Navigate to about. Failed to perform step one. On page, get mission value. The, oh, what does that say? The RPC server is unavailable. Interesting. Let's go into the object. We can click view action in object studio. And let's see what's going on here. Now if I attach, That way we're not to relaunch necessarily. Okay, that works. Now let's try to get the mission value, which I assume this would not work. Interesting. So it may be a speed problem. We do wait for this text to show up, but maybe what we should do is wait for this text to show up. And we will just go ahead and run it again because there's no penalty in running more tests. Use mission value rather than mission. Let's see how that works out for us. This is good. This is troubleshooting, right? 
I mean, uh, I'm human. I do. I make mistakes. Here we go. Got it on fast. Let's run it again. No elements supplied. Okay. Well, we're having an interesting problem here. Next step is after you have identified what the problem is, you know, you say it's something simple and you try to make a change to it, which I thought, well, maybe it's something that simple. Maybe the mission text is showing up, but then the, the, the value for that mission text, maybe that's not showing up. But the next step is then to step through, which is why I love Blue Prism so much for its ability to troubleshoot problems because you can step through into an object, you can change values while you're stepping through. It uh, makes troubleshooting a lot easier. So we're gonna step over launching Facebook. Once it's there, we will step over, navigate to about. And then we can see it's here. So it should be able to get that, right? Let's step in. And it works. So that pretty much tells us that it is a speed of execution problem. Now I have to decide how I would want to solve that. It To me, it seems unlikely that if I wait for this text to load, then I immediately call this action. It seems unlikely to me that it wouldn't work. So uh, what we'll do is let's just add in another wait stage here. Uh, quick tip, if you are editing an object, let's say you step into this. See, I'll step in here. Okay, so you've stepped into an object and you're working in this. And let's say this calls us to another object and then that object calls another object. And you're like five layers deep into an, into objects. And whenever you click, as you click out like this, it brings up this error, internal visual business object aborted. And you're like, okay. And it says, hey, it's aborted. And you're like, okay. And then it you know says it a couple more times. Uh, here's how you actually should exit the these objects. Instead of clicking uh, the close button here, go all the way to the top level. So you have so you have five different objects that have gone. You know uh, you have five layers of objects. Go to the very top layer and click reset, and it will close all of those objects for you with no errors. Let's delete this because sometimes there can be problems with wait stages when you change them from an intelligent wait stage to an arbitrary wait stage that this will conflict somehow. So we're gonna wait two seconds. This thing should in fact wait a whole two seconds after navigating. Re, uh, reinserted our wait. Now let's try it again. <clears throat> I would expect the time There we go. I guess we just proved that uh, we can have another Internet Explorer window open with this. Um, and there's like a there's like a one second wait there, but that doesn't seem right. Get oh right. You know what? That's not a problem. We it, it did actually do what it was supposed to. Okay. Yeah. So this is when the page started and then it did its wait. Then it got the value, sent it back, okay. All right, so from some testing, we've identified that the problem is that this, for whatever reason, is not actually loaded or accessible to us by the time that we need it or by the time we're asking for it. So we can either put a very small arbitrary wait, which is not usually the right way to go, or we can Go into the object and we'll put, we'll use some kind of intelligent wait to uh, verify that the page is ready to go. Let's let's play around with it a little bit. We're going to remove this and we want to get the mission value uh, after verifying that the navigate. Okay, we want to let's try parent document loaded. 
and we'll run this again at end nav to about. Let's see if it works this time. I half expect it to fail just like it did the first time we ran it, but it is it done. Looks like it's done. It got the value. Through some testing, we did make an adjustment and actually I think I made a couple of adjustments and this isn't important enough for me to figure out necessarily right now but it appeared as though load uh, checking that the parent document was loaded worked whereas document loaded did not let's drag that out so you can see it parent document loaded as opposed to just document loaded here in part five we worked in process studio and we made a few calls to the object and obviously we have a lot more work to do, but we'll go ahead and move into that in our next video. And thank goodness we finally resolved that document loaded problem. Bro prism. One process of automation fix stays here. Nice. <laughs> okay, you can tell the camera, camera something else. Anything you want.